Well, I think a lot of a lot of young kids need uh, recognizing for you know to um, um, a lot of people, a lot of young people still not, little ones don't have a, a real home or um, a lot of them, a lot of them need care. A lot of people turn to alcohol and you know drugs and worse now with drugs and. Uh, uh, I was lucky. I I didn't uh, turn to turn to uh, alcohol. Um, my sisters and brothers did, but I didn't uh, because I used to see them. I used to see all of them when they were drinking and how they were <laughs> how they were when they're drinking, and I didn't want to be like that. So uh, uh, I just said no. And, but I but when uh, after I got married, I used to go out with the uh, Frank drank, and uh, uh, I went out with them, but. <coughs> But I know a lot of kids. A lot of kids still. Um, still end up homeless, and um, you know. And I said that you know they should have had these T-shirts when we when we were kids. And somebody to say that we cared, you know, that we mattered. Every every child should matter. To somebody, and I just I think that's um, that's my, that was my life. Children, and children and elders. I always help children and elders. So, and I think um, I think they need to have one that every grandparent matters to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> right I think it's important for us to celebrate it because when my parents were children, they weren't just children, they were little warriors and they survived even though they were beaten and stripped of their culture and their way of life, they still survived, you know? And, you know, they survived. My parents survived, but they carried the pain. They carried the pain and didn't know what to do with it. And in return, because they were stripped of their way of life, and then they had us, uh, you know, their children. We didn't have what they had before they went to the residential school. You know, um, they all lived together. Um, they all worked together. Um, they lived a really good life. You know, and when I was a kid, majority of the time, my life wasn't good. You know, I was emotionally and physically abused by my parents. And I grew up with that, that little voice in my head that said, I was no good for nothing, I, and I would never ever amount to anything. But I survived that. You know, therefore, my childhood should be celebrated as well. Realize that there was one area in my life that I didn't address, and that was when I went to Kilgard Elementary School. You know, I'll never, ever forget that first day of school, you know, six years old, and my mom had braided my hair, really tight French braids, and I was so excited to go to school, and we walked up the hill, she came with me, brought, brought me to the door, and the teacher, you know, says, go and find your desk, you know, so I go in, and as soon as the door was closed, my mom was gone, you know, this, this teacher decides that, you know, like, she says, I want you all to introduce yourself, and I was very shy, and, um, I'm the first because I'm sitting in the front row and she says, what's your name? And, and I just put my head down, 
I was so terrified of her because she was so gruff. She asked me again, and I put my head down and I, I wouldn't answer her. She asked again, and I mumbled, Louise. And she says, what? I can't hear you. She came up to me and grabbed me by the braids. She walked me in front of the class, picked me up, and stood me on my desk, and she says, children, this is what a stupid little Indian looks like. You know, I, I did not realize, and she did that for four years of my education in that school. You know, she locked me in the cloakroom and wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. All day she locked me there. She wouldn't let me out to go to the bathroom. She wouldn't let me eat my lunch. And, you know, sitting in there all day, I need to go to the bathroom. She wouldn't let me out, and I ended up peeing myself. And she would take me again, grab me by the braids, and stand me on my desk, and she would say, children, this is what a dirty little Indian looks like. And I, um, I carried that deep, 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 deep inside of me. I learned to take care of myself. You know, even though I did that, that was just, um, I'm not sure how to describe it. But after choices, I learned that I'm a strong woman, you know, and that I'm not what that teacher, Mrs. Baker, said I was. I'm not a dirty little Indian, and I'm not a stupid little Indian. Therefore, you know, when I put this t-shirt on, I'm celebrating that little girl because she learned to become a smart little girl. Celebration for one shirt, I, I feel that that's where we gather all, we should gather all of, all the survivors of the school, all schools. They may share, share a story, may be sad, but you know, they're speaking from the heart, not their mind. It's the experience that they, they had, they lived. And it's important that, that every child matters. That's why we have the shirts and we wear them. And again, I just like to say, you know, find an elder for that day send them flowers, whatever you can do, just to lift their spirits for that day because a lot of, a lot of the memories flow back with them. We have very few of them left.